Och nytt! The winner of the Eurovision Song Contest 2017 Vi slår nästa Welcome to the 2012 Eurovision Review. In this review, I will feature the main headlines, the events that made news throughout this year. Of course, who can't remember the 26th of May? Laureen won the 57th edition of the Eurovision Song Contest with the song Euphoria. She was the hot favorite, and in total, she received 172 points. Baku played as the host city for the very first time. Situated by the Caspian Sea, it was the very first time that the contest took place to the Far East. The Baku Crystal Hall saw 42 countries competing for the trophy. Delegations, journalists and fans all flocked to the land of fire, better pronounced by the host Azerbaijan. When the walls this year's contest saw a number of returns. Montenegro returned to the song contest, while Zelkia Yoksimovic made a strong return, ending up in the third place. Two international stars, that is Engelbert Humperdinck and Angon, were amongst the artists to compete in this year's Eurovision Song Contest. If you love someone, follow your heart, cause love comes once, if you're lucky enough. Oh, I'll miss you forever And the hurt will run deep Only love can set you free On a sad note, your much beloved news site ESUtoday.com got hacked on 17th of May, right during the open rehearsals which were being held in Baku. This was a temporary setback for the top independent Eurovision site, which received a tremendous support during this difficult time. The team behind ESUtoday.com worked hard around the clock and managed to get it back online before the first semi-final. Nonetheless, it was not enough, and on 12 December, which marked the remarkable 12-12-12, at 12-12, 
ESOtoday.com got relaunched with a fresh design. Of course, thanks to our managing director, Michalis Vranis, who worked on the technical side. Of course, also thanks to Victor Hondal, our former chief editor, who worked really hard throughout this year. Congratulations to Yuha Ripo, our new chief editor, who is already leaving a mark with his excellent work on ESOtoday.com. Thanks also to the rest of the team who works voluntary on ESOtoday.com. One can't forget this year's Eurovision on Concert, a big promo event held in Amsterdam on 21st April, which thanks to another hard-working guy, René Romkes, ESOtoday.com was a partner website in the event. Eurovision Concert received 23 countries this year in Amsterdam, and also CNN was there to report the event. Alleen. Je vindt een deel van iedereen in alle dingen om je heen. This year it was decided that Malmo will host next year's Eurovision Song Contest. 39 countries are confirmed for the next show. Armenia will return in the Eurovision Song Contest. While, shockingly enough, we will not see Bosnia and Herzegovina, Portugal and Turkey. Swedish broadcaster SVT plans to have one host to present the show. The last time this happened was in the 1995 Eurovision Song Contest. Unlike previous years, the running order will not be decided by the drawing of lots but instead by the producers, with the aim of making the shows more exciting and ensuring that all contestants have a chance to stand out. Surely these changes will keep us on tiptoes on what to expect from the Swedes in May. Now let's have a look of Malmo, the city where we will be buzzing around. That is it! Hope you relived some moments and I invite you to keep on following Europe's favorite show with us. Just live it with us. Wish you a prosperous year full of happy Eurovision moments.